When two-year-old Nicholas D'Ambrosio developed a bacterial lung infection last fall, his parents rushed him to the hospital. If it had gone on too long, it could have resulted in brain damage. Treatments with a drug called albuterol restored his breathing. Too young to use an inhaler, Nicholas, like many other kids, was sent home with a nebulizer that turns the liquid albuterol into an aerosol so he could breathe. They keep it on hand for emergencies. But when one of two manufacturers that makes that liquid form of albuterol closed last week, the D'Ambrosios began to worry. It's terrifying. I almost feel like I would like have to ration it and then have to make a judgment call, like how serious is this? Should we save this until it gets really, really bad? bad? Already, Dr. Juanita Mora hasn't been able to get the liquid form of albuterol in over a month. The most impacted by the shortage are going to be children, especially the young ones who can't have good technique with an inhaler, older adults, and then those who are very, very sick. She says pharmacies have started diverting supplies to emergency rooms, patients being told to go to hospitals in a flare-up instead of trying to find doses to use at home. We can't hoard medication. We have to a lot of the supplies to get to the sickest patients at this time. Inhalers of albuterol are not at all impacted, and the remaining manufacturer of the liquid form says it is trying to meet demand. But for the smallest patients, Respira. many worry there could be big problems if more medication isn't available soon. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.